Welcome to Sandy Bay First Look Map Tour with me, Mr. Sealy B. Well, it's finally here, Sandy Bay 17. Uh, for some reason on my PlayStation, it's done it again where when you click on it, it's installing at the moment. Um, it's not putting both the pictures up for some reason. When I first clicked on it, the top picture was there. I came out, came back in. The bottom picture's there, the top one's not. Don't know why it's doing it, but never mind. This map is by Oxygen David. Welcome to Sandy Bay 17. This is a fictional map set in Devon in the UK with many great views. This map includes all Farming Simulator 17 features, custom crop grass textures with many other new fit textures, two farms, all animals are at the main farm, three cell points, BGA etc, 46 fields, small, medium and large, over 20 new models made by myself, Forestry, that's not myself, that's Oxygen David, just to make that clear. Forestry, sawmill area and missions all included. Various custom sounds across the map. I hope you all like this map. Oxygen David. I'm sure we will. Without further ado, we will go and have a quick map tour. So here it is. We start at, well, a lovely view down the bay. We're on the southern end of the map. Just open this up. Uh, green flashing icon, just left to centre. And we're at Willow Farm. There are two main farms on this map. You've got Willow Farm and Sandy Bay Farm, which is at the sort of north west part of the map. Um, we start off with a few fields. Um, I'm going to go into the main menu to show you that, actually. So, we start off at the top of the map with field 4, which is a grass field and is huge. Field 6, which is the sheep field, but again, grass, quite a bit of grass there. Field 7, which is the cow field. Field 8, 11, 13, 14, and if we come down a bit, field 19 are the ones we start off with. We start off with a bit of equipment as well. We'll look at that in a minute. Interestingly, starting off down the bottom here at Willow Farm, we don't actually have any equipment here. So you start at one end of the map with no equipment, no vehicle or anything. So we're going to have to get a bus or a taxi or something up to Sandy Bay Farm where we will start the tour because that's where the equipment is. We'll start there, we'll gradually work our way around the map. It's quite a big map, there's a lot to see before we move on. Uh, prices, I've got it set on normal, are, uh, they're going to be challenging, they're not particularly high, not mega high, um, and then when we move on a little in a little bit to look at field prices and things like that, you'll see why it's even more challenging. I think I've got used to playing law folds with very good prices. Um, so this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but you know, that's all part and parcel. I assume... Uh, a lot of people have been downloading this because it's taken a long time to get this download today. Um, but there we go. Um, few things to point out. A couple of people have posted things already saying that there are issues with the map. The gold nuggets aren't on here. It might well be. It's a map that doesn't have gold nuggets. They don't all have gold nuggets, so don't assume there is. Um, and secondly, people are complaining that you can't feed or water the sheep well i just had a bit of a test before i came on um i took water up to the sheep field and filled up the container no problem at all so don't know it might be a few issues people are having but i've had no problems uh whatsoever all good um so i will have a quick whiz around willow farm while we're here if you played this on fs15 or like me, you watched other YouTubers gameplay, let's plays on FS15, you will notice immediately that this farm is different. And so is um, Sandy Bay Farm. Uh, we'll go out to the main road and I'll start from there. There's great sound effects on this. There's some brilliant new textures. There's some great buildings. There's a load of things been added to this. Um, just listen. Mm. 
lovely lovely sound effects anyway willow farm now as i remember this being on 15 when you came in the gate none of this was here there was a building round to the right but it all swept around this way it went round to the side of the cow farm was over this way so this is all really really changed the chicken coop was just round here to the side um so a lot of this has changed um I'll put the map back on um but anyway yeah willow farm um sound effects on this as well so we've got a couple of big barns um some nice buildings the track runs away from you down here it used to kind of sweep around and these fields all kind of joined around with a silage pit and all sorts so yeah this has really really changed um but interesting it's nice I, I do like the change the farms do have your um seed fertilizer and water needs you can still buy pallets if you want to and collect them from the store but if you want to do it direct both the farms do have everything you need there we go um plenty of barn space i have to say as well and huge huge um silage bunker bunker silo whatever you want to call it they are massive um i think there's one here i think there's two up at sandy bay farm anyway so this is willow farm oxygen david nice uh fuel obviously there as well right so that's willow farm so what i'm gonna do now so that's the main road we're gonna go to sandy bay farm and then we'll do the tour around the map it's going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour and what we'll probably do as well is um i'll skip some of the bits of the journey but i'll still show you where we are where we've got to and that kind of thing um otherwise we'll never ever get it all done so we are now at the northwest part of the map so we've got our got the bus from here all the way up to the northwest of the map there are varying different field sizes here from relatively small fields like 17 37 here to this one field 20 which is colossal massive massive field um some of these fields have changed i believe in shape there's a few different things that have changed since um 15 um but what is nice you start with lizard pickup which i'll probably sell but you start with a massive ferguson nice um 7719 you do start with the round baler start with the agro liner trailer the fixed one as well which is nice now that fiddling around um we will very very quickly whiz through what we've got so the massive ferguson new holland tc 590 header to go with it and header trailer we've got um coon cultimer uh cultivator salford plow we've got the great plains cedar a weight a mower and a baler that's it not a huge amount of equipment so quite a few small bits um but enough to get yourself going and with the fields you start with um there's plenty to be getting on with i'll be totally honest with you um so anyway we've got a main road well i say main road a lane it's not a main road at all a lane that splits the farm in two so the lane comes up the hill um and it splits the farm into two halves uh, we've got the right hand half over there where we've got our dairy uh cow part is over on that side uh we've got on this side our pigs and our chickens and then out on the main road we get our sheep a little bit further over we're going to have a look at those in a minute so anyway left hand side of the main road we've got a couple more barns we've got our storage point for offloading and our silo emptying point it's for emptying into trailers a bit of barn space a seed and fertilizer and a water again more barn space it's nice actually fair size and easy for getting things in and out um what else have we got oh yeah some of the equipment now there, there is no shortage of barn space i'll be honest with you um more of the equipment over in the barns over there and then we've got our pigs 
so the pigs are here and it's kind of split around the corner with this building in the middle this is your straw bedding emptying in point whether you do it with a bale shredder or tipper i'm not too sure we'll see um if we open up this barn door we have got our vehicle sell point and customization point and if we open this one here it takes us actually into the pig enclosure so we come over this side we've got our fertilizer point and um, we've got the feed trough water trough and we've got our um animal dialogue box turn that on for buying and selling of our animals unless you want to get a trailer of course and you can go to emerson's and collect so that's the pigs if we come up here we've got two huge bunker silos massive bunker silos i can't even begin to imagine how much you would get into either of those plenty of room to move around as well with trailers which is quite nice because sometimes you find they're a bit tight and it's hard to get your bigger vehicles in and we come back around the corner here we have got our chickens and our chicken coop just around the back here all very nice and tucked away just around the back here you've got a little lane that runs out onto the main road so you can get in around the corner up the main road or the lane you've got a little lane here that joins up with the road um manure point and slurry tank just here for the pigs so pigs and chickens on this side of the road sandy bay farm on this side of the road We've got more barn space, a few more vehicles, the mower, cultivator, weight is all over on this side, machine workshop, very nice, lots of barn space, but it's got plenty of storage bar um, barns. That I would imagine it's going to be a bale sale point, the fact you've got this on the floor and the markings so you can sell your bales here. plenty plenty of storage uh fuel if we come around the back here we come to our cows so dialogue box cows of this side of the road we'll just jump the fence they have got a big 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 pasture here very very large feed troughs uh, and water troughs probably the other way around actually feed trough water trough big open expanse so plenty of grass if you're going to be doing bales and things like that do start off with plenty of grass areas for doing that it's another little barn actually tucked away just around the back there and there's also track leads up and there's a double gate or just over there it takes you up to the main road this whole map is interlaced um, with roads so if we're here right now the double gates just up here on the road and this is kind of the main road that leads up from the town and this is the lane that splits the two sides of the farm and there's a little track at the back of here wherever i was can't remember what it is now it runs out onto the main road so it's all kind of quite compact but you've got your pigs and your chickens one side of the road you've got your cows the other side of the road and then we come down onto the main road you've got your chickens uh, your chickens your sheep filled over on this side which is where we're going to head to very quickly now so down to the main 
the main ish road slightly more main than this one there is traffic on it there's a fair bit of traffic on this map it you know in its entirety i'll be totally honest down this little track to the side here and we come to our sheep field with its two troughs again this is a fair sized field so if you're going to be doing any mowing you can use these there we go sheep that's your animals that's sandy bay farm pretty much that's willow farm pretty much kind of in a nutshell it is quick and there's a lot to see and i apologize if i'm whizzing through this but it just kind of gives you an idea of what's where um we're going to head north well northwest ish up away from the farms and there'll be a turning coming up just here bear with me a moment so we're going to run east now across the top of the map now when we get about midway on the map i suppose midway across the sort of northern part of the map we come to sandy bay castle we won't actually go in but it's a nice parking area not dissimilar to the one on chellington nice view actually down across the bay from here but i'll leave you to explore that don't want to spoil everything but this is where it is now i believe field four that you own when you start is just off here on our left big grass field you start off with but interestingly just off to the left here if i can find the turning which is just here if you take this turning as well there's plenty more grass here as well don't know how it's going to be for cutting but this will take you right the way out above the cliffs on the northeast part of the map out to the lighthouse the lighthouse you can climb if you want to and again well interesting jump there a lovely view down across the bay again i will leave that for you to explore i know this is a first look and i'm kind of whizzing around showing you what's where however you still want some element of uh, exploration and discovery i think sweet. so back onto the main road mainish road um, this one is steep if you can see the cliffs to our left hand side now this takes us right down to the base of the cliffs to some of the stores if you're thinking of driving tractors up and down there especially if you've got loads um, that's steep it's a steep hill <laughs> so it's interesting and we are now down at the bay itself you can just over there to the right where those vehicles are you can drive down onto the beach if you desire not sure why you would but you can if you want to so we're now at sandy bay store or stores if we go around to the right at sandy bay stores we've got the sheep and wool sell point there we go so that's for wool and then we've got well i'll say sheep sell point is emerson's livestock market this is your main hub for all of your animal needs so you can buy them all here come down with the trailer pick them up drop them off whatever you would like to do emerson's is down here we are now at the northeast part of the map we were just up the top here on this road here up towards the lighthouse we came down the steep hill here and we are now down at the bottom here so we've got emerson's livestock market just here and then we've got some stores and i think it's a straw sell point i think it is we'll have a quick look so sell point for all sorts of grain you'll probably notice we'll see actually a sign closer up um, it, this one does say maize and osr because obviously being a map down in devon um, maize refers to corn osr is canola if you're not sure 
and then we've got another straw bale cell point cool that pickup's chucking some muck out of the exhausts so back out to the main road if we follow the bay round now and we'll be heading south in a moment fuel petrol station gas station whatever you want to call it we are now heading south if you take a right actually we'll do that now if we take a right here cross over the railway haven't seen a train come along there yet don't know if it will do but we'll see and then take a right again we get to our main store so if you're buying any equipment if you're buying pallets anything like that these will all appear here we are now probably i would say halfway down the map i'm well, not quite halfway maybe a third of the way down the map so we've left all the stores here followed the bay around taking a right and a right and we're now at the shop so we're going to carry on heading south and kind of do a route around the map back out from the store we're not going to go that way at the moment but it's continuing around the bay heading south we are going to be heading across the bridge in a moment but continuing south we come to a dead end but at the end of the dead end is your timber cell point sawmill and another normal cell point so we've got uh, off to the left here we've got our timber and wood cell point here we've got a normal cell point I'll just jump out very quickly and show you what I mean so wheat barley maize which is corn OSR which is canola sugar beet potatoes sunflower and soybeans and then just in front of us here we've got our wood chip cell point just there so that's your lumber yard timber yard sawmill whatever you want to call it so now heading westward ish over the uh, railway line we've got lots of i say lots of little side turnings that join up if you go along that one and then take a left and back around some little cottages um which we're going to come past just now just see off through the gap in the cottages the lane that runs up the hill that takes you up to willow farm that's where you start when you're first looking down the map there's a lane in front of you that's the little lane that runs back up to willow farm so you just go along that the, along there turn right turn left and it takes you back up to willow farm we're going to stick on the main road while i'm doing that we'll find the next available field to stop at which is going to be just here and nice little touch with the fields rather than the blue disc you get you've actually got a devon county council sign sign with farmland for sale it's a lovely touch that i do like that um and you'll see what i meant earlier about not getting a huge amount of money for your crops especially if you're playing on normal or hard the field prices are huge really really expensive um look bear in mind we're looking at field what's it 33 is it field 33 is not a particularly large field really when you kind of look at the scale of some of these fields it's not that big on the smaller side i suppose you could say and they're asking 234,000 for it so not cheap you're going to be doing a fair bit of work to pay for any of these i think now if i'm not mistaken this little track here takes you back to willow farm more fields as well but that takes you in the back end of willow farm which we're not going to do at the moment 
We are, however, going to continue along here. Now, these houses are new. They weren't on the 15 version. If you take a left up here, it takes you out to the windmill and another great vantage point down, or actually up the bay, to be fair, uh, looking from south to north. But you've got the windmill up there. There's also an egg cell point just up at the little little farmhouse, whatever you want to call it, that's right by the windmill. Heading south even more takes you to the edge of the map that direction. So we are now going to head back towards Willow Farm. So we're coming common in a big loop around the entire map. So coming back along here, heading westward again. We've got Willow Farm on the right hand side where we started off. If we take a left down this turning here, heading south and then west again. Oh, before I move on, we have got Sandy Bay campsite just off to the left. There's some tents and other bits just through here. There we go. Festivals and that kind of thing, I would imagine. And before you know it, on the right hand side, we come to Little Ham, Little Um, depends how you want to say it. Little Ham stores, it's just a sell point straight through there. Um, you've got a sell point, big open expense of tarmac here um, for just a sell point. There's not really anything else here. We shall continue. We're now going to be heading north again. And on our left, we have the BGA. BGA is not much different to the BJs you get on most of the other maps. You've got your slurry tank. Big, well, barn, I suppose. Um, your bunker silos, silage bays, pretty standard now. What you've come to expect at a BGA. And then your anaerobic digester, cell point, whatever you want to call it. And your waste scales are all here at your BGA. Now, on this map as well, which is quite interesting, we have got a dual carriageway, which is unusual, but there is one. The dual carriageway runs down the map, up the map, however you want to look at it, uh, north-south. We are over here, comes out of the tunnel here, runs up the map, and heads off around the corner here into another tunnel. It's an interesting one. But you can get on and off it here and here, so you can use it as a kind of cut through between these two road sections. Now we have missed out this middle section. We're gonna come back to that momentarily. Uh, this is where it kind of separates Willow Farm. We came around the back of this road here, up past the BGA and Little M stores. Um, this road here it takes you across the middle of the map and past the forest and there's the red line i believe it's the red line pub just here as well with another egg cell point which we're going to be kind of heading to in just a second This is a cracking map. I, I've watched a lot of Let's Plays on this when it was on 15 because it was on PC and I'm being a PS4 gamer. Uh, I, this is that, that map everyone's been waiting for, let's be honest. Um, come over the bridge, over the dual carriageway that we were just on. So we're now kind of heading eastwards again. And we come to a main junction on the main road. I will quickly nip up here. It's where I was just talking about. On the left we have is the Red Lion, the Red Lion pub, and around the back is your egg cell point. That little lane takes you right the way through and brings you out at the other end um, where the lane up to Willow Farm runs. On the right hand side now we've got the forest. It's a fair size actually. But what I do like about this is the name, the Enchanted Forest. It's brilliant, love it. So if uh, Lumber, forestry, wood chipping is your thing. There is a forest. Do not despair. 
carry on back up that road will take you back up to Willow Farm. Mind that. Carrying back down the road. Takes us back to the main road. Now, there's a couple of little lanes here that run off in different directions and kind of join up. Just quickly show you the top end of the map. When you come up this one here, just on our left, there's a little turning here that runs up this little track. There's a couple of fields at the end of here. There's also a little track that runs off and it runs all around the countryside. Goes up around here, up around the top of the map. Brings you right out of the top here. It's a little lane. Go and explore, have a look. But this track runs right the way up and brings you all the way up the top here and joins up on the main road up near Sand Bay Farm. That's a smaller lane. If we carry on down the main road, it takes you into the little town. As far as I'm aware, it's definitely a post box, that much I do remember. Oh, there is a church. I thought there was. Telephone box, etc. And the church on the left. If we take the left turning here and back up the hill, we've pretty much completed the entire tour. Loads of fields, loads of great detail, um, all the sort of things you've been expecting, wanting, however you want to look at it. So we're back to where we kind of began. The left just there is back to the sheep farm. Right here takes us back up to Sandy Bay Farm. Where we are split on both sides of the road. Cows to the right. Chickens and pigs to the left. We are back at Sandy Bay Farm. Like I say, this is a quick, a quick whiz round. If this is the kind of map you think is going to appeal to you, get on it play it um like i say i've been itching to play on this um for quite a while i'll be honest with you since i first saw a let's play on it i think it was dagoin that i first saw doing this one um it's a cracking map really really is good um there's loads more to see i haven't shown you everything i haven't explained everything i haven't been everywhere it's got to leave some fun for you guys let's be honest don't want to take all the enjoyment out of it um it's a great map um, this is one I'm probably going to do uh, multiplayer on. Um, not sure what days I'm going to be doing multiplayer on it. Um, and it could be random days of the week. It could be different times in the week. It could be you know early evening, late evening. Could be mornings at weekends. I honestly don't know. Um, but I, what I will probably do in one of my next videos, I will tell tell you what the password will be. So if I'm going to do multiplayer, you happen to turn on your you playstation and we're on playing um if you've watched any of my videos and i've told you the password stick it in come on and have a bit of a play um i hope this has been useful hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share the video please be my guest it's a cracking map by oxygen david eagerly anticipated by a lot of people um, I will hope you'll enjoy it. I'm certainly looking forward to doing Let's Play on it. Um, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Whatever you choose to do, thanks for watching.